What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Wei Zhang Model Wizard Spaceman Luckya. Yes, this is an oversized, clean version of Hasbro Squeaks done by Wei Zhang under their Model Wizard branding, which I believe is um, for the uh, Last Night movie. Um, so far, all the products underneath Model Wizard have been last night stuff like the Rensora, the the Hound, and uh, Spaceman Luckya here, um, which I think is a pretty cool name. <laughs> it could be SPC Luckya, but uh, it might be, I don't know. But I like to call him Spaceman Luckya. Or Lucky. <laughs> but yeah, this is, as you can see, you know, it's he's in his robot mode. Uh, no, he's in his alt mode here. And uh, also, as you can see, I am not in my regular studio position. I am in my kitchen this morning. I was supposed to film this yesterday, but for reasons I could not. And uh, today I'm not in studio, so I decided to bring this with me last night and uh, take care of it this morning. So. It looks really good in this clean mode, and that's why I wanted this one. Because uh, I know I'm already going to get the Hasbro, which I cannot find anywhere. Another reason why I jumped on this one, I finally saw it at TF Direct. The link is down below. Um, so, yeah, like, I jumped to get this because it was, you know, something different. I like the idea of it being clean. I think that's really cool. Definitely gives you something different. It has die cast right here. This piece right here in the front. I'm not sure if there's die cast anywhere else. I have not, you know, as far as like, you know, checking for the cold spots, I have not found any uh, besides this front plate. So, I think on the box it says, but I don't have the box with me. Uh, usually, it usually does. But yeah, so this is, this again is Wei Zhang. Um, and what's interesting though, and something I want to, to show you guys, is this is their directions, which are pretty good actually. Um, it actually says Wei Zhang Robot Force Spaceman Luckya. Um, and so far from what I've seen, the Robot Force stuff has been the, the Titans Return stuff, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. On the, on the actual box, it doesn't say Wei Zhang or Robot Force on there. It does say Model Wizard. So, there you go. Um, real quick, before I do anything, uh, if you've seen my Facebook page uh, yesterday, I had a shot of uh, this mode with Marvel Legends Deadpool on it. And if you want to fit like a six inch figure, you might be able to, <laughs> to get it going. Uh, I, he, his hands do go around, the handlebar is fine. He does look a little big on there, so maybe a slightly smaller figure, but I mean, if you have a smaller scale six inch figure, maybe like uh, an SH figure arts or something, this will definitely work because he almost fits good on here and you know, there you go. I only have two figures with me for size comparison, so I'm gonna bring in the other one right now. Uh, this is the Hasbro Megatron, Voyager class Megatron. So you can see how he scales there in uh, alt mode. We will bring him back in afterwards. So, there you go. Alright, so let's take a look. Now, as you can see, he is attached to this, like, little, I don't know, uh, little trailer, little <laughs> weapon shed, I don't know what you want to call it, a little trunk. You know, I don't know what the official wording is for this. And everything rolls really nicely. Um, even if you put the kickstand back. As you can see, rolls very nice together. It's attached here by this hitch. Um, and the only thing, it just stores all the extras except for this. This giant gun does not really fit there, but you can, if you want to put it there. He has like a little gun. Or you could put it on the side here. So, there you go. Especially if you want to put a figure on there, that's kind of cool. You could do that. Um, so, 
to take it off, it's like a ball joint there. It's very tight, so be careful not to uh, ruin this. There's, there's some tight parts here that um, you definitely should be heating up a little bit to get on. Um, and that's one of them, I would say. So let's, let's put the kickstand up here. Take a look at this. This is a nice piece. Again, I really like the clean of it. Nice, shiny, good feeling plastic. Uh, the wheels are just little plastic wheels, but they roll fine as you saw. Some nice molding there. No paint on this really here. It's just blue, this light blue plastic. Uh, and again, it looks, it looks nice. So, um, I mean, this is all on Hasbro, really, right? They they designed this, so I don't I don't know if Wei Zhang added, added anything into this. I can't speak to it again, um, but you know, for you guys that did get the Hasbro, uh, I've been lucky enough to find it. Um, you know, you can let me know down below. So what's different here? So we're gonna open this up. Show you guys what to do there. Open that right there. Open that right there, and then you can flip this up. Now, if you want, also. You could use this as like, you know, some little gun turret there. Um, as you can see, they're like little, I guess they're like little gun turrets, I don't know. Kind of look like little thrusters to me as well, and that's done in silver, which looks cool. So, uh, if you hear my son and my wife in the background, they're in the other room. <laughs> um, so, you want to take that back, and then these open up. And uh, this go goes down, and just like this, if you want to put the bike here, you can do so. The bike will go on there. If you want to do something like that, the, you know, the little moped here, scooter. Stay okay. So in here, you see there's some nice molded detail, which is cool. I like it. It does have this arm here that comes up. Now, this arm has a, at least on this version, has a very loose connection for me right in here. So I don't know if the original is loose or if that's like a product of, you know, KOing. It, that happens sometimes. See, it comes off very easy. Um, for me personally, I don't, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this. So really, it doesn't bother me so much. But it's a cool little piece, got a little, you know, articulation up there on a ball joint. And this little piece back here, got some more guns or whatever. Um, another thing I should say, I have not seen Last Night yet. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be watching it soon now that it's coming out on like digital and, and stuff. Um, so, but yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Which is funny because I'm obsessed with the Megatron and I've got a million pieces already. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, so I don't know what this guy's role is yet, but I just really like how he looks. Kind of reminds me of uh, like a really messed up Fix-It from the cartoon. So there's that. So as you can see, there's this red, and this is a painted red piece, I believe. Um, you know, that's kind of like a tool chest here. And I say that because I feel like there's some extra red like that rubbed off on, on the blue inside here. And he's got a couple things here. There's a... Uh, an arm, which we'll look at further in a bit, and some extra like handlebars that will sub as his arms later. But yeah, this is a nice little piece. I, I like it, you know. Uh, I guess you know for real, like in the Hasbro, this is what really makes the piece worth it, since it's a really small piece um, that kind of scales like you know it scales with the Voyager, but it's probably the size of a Legends. I'm gonna guess just based on this so and there you go with that so we'll put that to the side looking at the scooter mode here of spaceman lucky <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool as you saw the wheels rolled nicely um, it's plastic but it feels almost rubbery it's kind of almost like a softish not really soft soft but like definitely a different plastic than this and it rolls well so that's good um, as you can see the silver around there on the rims and up up here. I really like how that looks. That's really nice looking So that's pretty cool. You have 
the kickstand that kicks back and forward however you might need it. Um, the handlebars move, which is cool. I really like how the headlights look there. It's like eyes, which is obviously, you know, a uh, precursor to getting his actual eyes. So I guess in the movie that is his eyes. That's why they look as so. Um, this moves a lot. There's no way for it to tab in at all. Um, but it, it stays pretty fine. It, this moves, you know, like a real scooter would, I think, right? Does that move on a scooter? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I don't have one. Um, but, you know, the seat is done in brown, which is nice. You know, so this is the only brown, whereas the... <laughs> The, um, the dirty versions are all like, you know, this brown I believe is what they use to like paint it, scuff it up. But yeah, it's nice. I really like it. Thrusters in the back look good in silver. Clean. It's very nice. So very nice alt mode. So there you go. Transformation to get it into um, Spaceman Luck Ya. <laughs> Squeaks uh, is... You know, it's pretty simple. The I'm glad I actually waited because the extra time actually uh, helped me figure it out a little more. So this comes down, this comes down. You want to turn it like that. Then over here, you're going to take this. Again, this is uh, die cast, which is not uh, on the Hasbro at all. Um, and I like that. I like a little bit of die cast. So that's pretty cool. You can turn this around if you want now. That's going to be turned around like this. And you want to take this piece and flip it around this way and then it's going to move up like that and kind of back so it kind of stays like that so the arms then come out here and now you want to take this piece here open it up like that and then you can take the head out his like helmet there and then this whole piece comes up like so and let's see, this is, okay, then this opens up, and I kind of, see the headlights, you want to put it in that hole right there, just like that, and then there's a couple holes in there with little tabs down here, pop it in like that, that's how that stays, close that together, turn this around here, bring this down, and now inside here, you have you're gonna oh, take this whole piece out like that, close that up, put that down. I like inside here really quick. It's a nice molded detail, which is cool. Put that down like that. I'm gonna turn his legs. Let's see, like this, like this, and then you flip it up like this. See, they come up and flip forward, and that's it. You can leave the kickstand down, make it maybe back a little bit. To make help him stand. He has squeaks. This version of squeaks. I wanna make sure that's kind of aligned like that. He's pretty much ready to go. Uh, the only thing you wanna do is go back into his tool chest, get out these little black like handlebars. You know, all well, the details, fine. The very um, soft plastic, I don't know how the Hasbro's go, but all of these pieces are soft plastic, these extra ones. And these hands here are the only ones that go in well. The rest of them, uh, not so hot. We'll, we'll see how it goes here. But here you go, here's clean squeaks. And I think it looks pretty good. i put that down. I really like it. I like this clean version, you know. <laughs> it's kind of like whatever happens to him didn't happen yet, even though, like, yeah, the helmet is still broken. It would be cool if uh, they released a add-on piece where this, it wasn't broken. Hey, TF Direct, let uh, Anhui Zhang <laughs> do, like, a, an extra piece, a full piece. Come on, you could get that going. You can mold that. That would make things really cool. And uh, then we could make them nice and clean, you know, fresh off the assembly line. So, yeah, really nice. I, I really dig it. It's a nice little robot, you know. Uh, I like his head sculpt a lot. It you know, this guy reminds me of like a 
Kind of like a chunky Johnny Five or something like that, you know? I like his goggles. That looks good. There's a little, you know, plastic piece. Trans, uh, translucent, not translucent, uh, clear plastic piece so you can see the eyes inside. And that looks really nice. I like how his mouth is molded. That's cool. Again, you know, this is like, you know, mostly on Hasbro, but it just looks nice. So I can only talk for this. So it's nice. Nice, uh, nice sculpt all around. Again, die cast, which is very cool for me. I don't know. I, I like that. Add something to it. Like some nice weight. That to me is always cool in the toy. Um, so this becomes a little jetpack looking type thing, even though like it would just burn the back here. But you got it, you know, just for the look of it. Looks good. Like how his wheels look there. So, pretty cool. I dig him. In this mode, like, you know, his arms have a little bit of articulation out on a hinge. Like that. And they swivel this way, so... Yeah, there's a little hinge in there, actually. So some decent articulation there. His little wheel legs can go out and in, but, you know, it is what it is. And this can't come up and down, so... That's about all of his articulation, <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, so, let's check out his other stuff. We looked at this before. This is the giant gun. Uh, there's just some silver painted on there. It's not super clean, but it works. Um, I don't know what it looks like on the Hasbro. I cannot recall. Um, now there's like, it's like, it was like molded in two pieces. There's like a line here, uh, but I don't, I've been trying to like see if it comes apart or something. Maybe it does, but I can't seem to do it. I don't want to break it. If you guys know, um, I couldn't find any info information on that. I feel like I'm going to break it. Um, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to. So, what you want to do with that, you take this out. One of the things you can do. Um, it has a tab right there, and the hole right there. But this is one of the things I was talking about here. And it's not easy to put in at all. It is very, very, very tight. Um, I don't know if they made the hole too tight, or this too... Um, not the, just not the right size. Now, I did it once, and I had to heat it up. So right now, I got it to jam in. Um, I think I just stressed the plastic a bit here. See that? I think I might have just did that. Let me see if the other side looks like that. Eh, no. I think it... I don't know. I'd have to check back. I don't know if that was like... Eh, it doesn't really look stressed. It looks like messy, but yeah, that's something to look out for. So there you go. That's how it would look with the giant gun just jammed in there. So he does get a little top heavy because of it, but it does look cool. So there's that. This is a nice piece though. And then you got the other arm here. That's also in here, so, and this is a nice piece too. Again, in black, same rubbery feel. Nice molded details, pretty cool. But this has the same issue um, about going in. So I, I might have done this because I've been trying to force these guys in. Again, just, you know, uh, heat this up, I think. I think I am doing this because stressing it out. Oh, this goes in better now than it did. So that's good. So I think uh, this changed its form a little bit. But definitely be aware of that, you know, the harder you press, the more stress the plastic is gonna get down here by the pin. So eh, nah, look at this. This has, you know, this is just sloppy. Maybe some excess glue or something. So that's what that is. Because I do have it on this side and I haven't tried to jam anything in on this side at all. So. But this is how this guy looks with this giant arm. Again, I don't know like the context of it, so I can't really talk to it. This, however, um, from what I've seen on the Hasbro one, goes in really well and looks good on the Hasbro one. On here, even though there's a slot there, there's I don't there's not enough handle here for it to stay well. It just barely does. So definitely 
he does not want to stay. I mean, you can lean him back and push this up, but eh. Wait, what does work better though is if you turn it and kind of slip it in a little bit. He does hold it good like this, but it doesn't look kind of. <laughs> it doesn't look so good. He's like, ha ha, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's something to you know. To, to know about there it's it I think this is too short maybe unless I'm doing something wrong but I can't figure out what that would be but yeah there you go so there's everything there um, but you know the little hands are work well and I might display them with just a gun and not this hand you know not this one because the gun there, he, he holds it fine. I'll just have to heat this up a little bit. Because it did work fine when I heated it up and put it in. So, and there you go. That's it. That's all I got for uh, Spaceman Luckier here by Wei Zhang. Otherwise known as uh, Clean Squeaks. Oversized Clean Squeaks with die cast. So, yeah. I, I think he's awesome. I really do. I really like him a lot. So, definitely recommend this little guy. And uh, he's, he's pretty cheap. Again, you know... I think about the same price as or cheaper than the Hasbro so something for you guys to decide all right so there you go and it, it, this also comes in the, the regular dirty version as well um, which I'm not gonna get I'm gonna get the Hasbro when I can find it <laughs> all right guys that's all I got again link is down below to TF direct check that out uh, if you want to pick this guy up uh, and that's it all right guys that's all I got please like comment subscribe and share let me know your thoughts below and until next time, peace out, peeps. Little addendum, here is uh, the comparison uh, with the Hasbro Megatron, Voyager class Megatron. So as you can see, much bigger than the Hasbro version, I believe. <laughs> so there you go. I don't know how this works out as far as the movie, but there you go. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you this guy and how he looked as a size comparison. Uh, and, and now we're done. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out.